Hey guys, it's Luke. Welcome to another episode of Big, Medium, Small, Drawing Foundations. Today, it's all about hands. At least the best I can give in a short time. Little inspiration, some Michelangelo. More Michelangelo off the David. These are Russian academic studies. Oh, master studies. Michelangelo again. Okay, let's get into it. First thing when we're sketching our figures, we start to put in a gesture just to sort of break the white of the paper and to find the pose we want. There's a, there's a mark that kind of can get us going with the energy that we want in the hands. And I think that if we, I think if we break it down to squares, triangles, and circles, I think it starts us off. These are the gestures we've been practicing so far. Now look what happens if I... Everything is essentially the same, right? I throw in a triangle, a square, and a circle. They just have such different vibes, and I feel like we can use that to start to tell our stories. Okay, let's start to figure out how to draw the hand. This is the palm. Kind of just evolving, right? Starting with a single plane. And then a volume. But now I want you to think of it like a curved volume. That's kind of a more advanced take on it. But let's say we go back to the plane and we kind of try to reorganize that a little bit, make it a little bit more specific to the shape of the hand. If you take your hand and look at the palm of it, you turn your left thumb outwards. I think that's the shape you end up with, looking at the palm of your hand. But now let's translate that into 3D. And here it is with a curve on it.
So that was the top of the hand, this would be the bottom of the hand. I'm just going to cut that shape into a Okay, here I'm working my way down the arm till I get to the side of the hand. See the space there for the wrist? And also notice how the palm of the hand is lower than the arm. That's the uh, tip of the radius there. It's on the pinky side.
See how we're amplifying that curve from the wrist to the knuckles to the fingertips. Okay, so we're gonna get into talking about how to draw fingers. And there's a skill that I want for you guys to practice. I want you guys to notice. See here I've got two lines and they're real flat. But when I add this, see how it becomes a volume? See, that, see how that's just so flat? That makes it 3D by adding that cross contour. We've been practicing that this whole class. Powerful little move, right? See, so now I'm just starting with those crosses. It's like a tool that I have to think about shape. See how I'm turning it? see how valuable that is when we start to draw fingers. See how I use the cross, guys? Paint a little more detail, a little more close up. Thank you. 
Okay, now we're gonna get in close on what a finger is. like a chess piece, like a bishop He's standing on a marble. The marble would be like that knuckle at the bottom. See how the nail is one of the cross lines at the beginning? And it ends up landing in perspective. Okay, there's the outline, cross, cross, the nail in the same perspective as the crosses. This is my side plane. See how I use the pear shape as the base of the thumb? And then the thumb's got two, two bones. See how I'm using the cross in the uh, thumb? There's my little shape for the palm. 
side plane. Keep things 3D. Okay, so now we're going to be drawing the palm, the thumb, and the fingers. Okay, see how I've got the arm set off from the palm? See how I established the palm with the cross contours? And now I'm establishing the thumb with the pair, the concept of the pair, plus two. Now this is a space for my fingers. And there I'm marking the arc for the top of the fingers. One, two, three, two, three. Now crosses. See the crosses. So the palm of the hand, if you look at it, it kind of has this like, like an inner tube or a donut. It's like all the sides of it are padded and the middle is not, almost like a dog paw. I hope you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. The padding on the palm of the hand.
Those are the lines inside the palm of your hand and they work in a way that feels really rhythmic to me. And here I'm just starting with a gesture. You'll see me just like work from a gesture to a finished drawing. That's the pointy hand. There's the pair underneath, plus two. See how I shape the finger like the chess piece? Adding a 3D shape to the side there. And here's some fast sketches. You'll see me working through the whole process now. See how I get dimension in the fingers with those crosses? The shape of the palm of the hand. If you just watch this slow, you can see all the ideas from the video are inside of it. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. You're looking at some work by Rodin. Guy tried to get into uh, the Ecole de Beaux Arts three times. Each time they said no. Anyway, he ended up becoming one of the greatest. I think this is him and Camille. So beautiful. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.